Hello and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. Today's tutorial we're going to learn how to create custom properties in Roblox. Custom properties are also known as attributes in Roblox. To add attributes to the kill wall, I'm going to click on the kill wall and go to the properties window and scroll down all the way to the bottom. You're going to see a button. Click on that button, add attribute button. You see a little window pop up. You can give it a name. I'm going to call this one kill. And it's going to be a Boolean value. Click save. Now, if you want it to be false, you leave the box unchecked. If you want to make it true, check the box. I'm going to click on the add attribute button again. This one, let's call it damage. And it's going to be a number. Click save. The, the default is zero. I'm going to change it to 20. And I'm going to add one more. This one, I'm going to call it del for delete. And I'll leave it as a string for the type. Click save. Now to change the name of your attribute, you click on the gear on the right hand side here, right? And click on rename. Now I can put anything else I like in here. So instead of del, I'm going to put in delete. Whoops. Let me go back to the kill wall and go back to the, the bottom of the properties window. That's where you see all your attributes. And now I'm going to delete this one, the, the, the attribute that I've added named delete. I'm going to delete that one. And to delete that one, you, again, you're going to click on the gear here. Instead of selecting rename, you're going to select delete and it's gone. Next, we're going to see how we can use script to access the attributes of the part. So here again, you see I have the green ball and the red ball and I have grouped them into a model called balls and I have added a script to that model. Let's go and take a look at the script. Basically, our script is to add the touch event to those two balls. On the first line here, I'm declaring my part. My part is the, the model, the balls. And then I'm getting all the children of the model and they are being stored into this uh, array variable here, balls. So balls is an array that contains all the children of the balls model. This line I'm using the for in I pairs loop to loop through that array and for each element of the array, I'm checking to see, is, is it a part? So the, the reason for that be, is because we have a script in here. So I want to skip the script. I only want to process the parts. Here I have a touch event for each of those parts inside this model. Checking for humanoid, if it is a humanoid, I turn off the can touch of the, the part. I'm printing touch here. This is just for us to see, for testing. On this next line here, this is where we're getting the kill attribute of our part. In this case, it could be the kill ball or the ball. The ball does not have any attribute. You can see there is no attribute added to the ball. So if you get the ball, this one is going to return false. But if you get the, the kill ball, get attribute of kill for the kill ball is going to return true. Here we're getting the damage attribute of the kill ball, which is 20. And we're subtracting 20 from the health of the humanoid. We're waiting for three seconds and then we turn back the can touch so that the ball can be touched again. Let's now play and take a look. As you can see, I have opened up my output window down here. And now let me go to my character. I want to look for the humanoid object and I'm going to go to the humanoid property. I'm looking for the health. So look at my health right now, it's 100. And there's nothing in the output window. That, that's because I haven't touched anything yet. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go touch the green ball. The green ball does not have any attribute and it's not going to do any damage to me. So you can see the ball has been touched. It printed touch here. But look at my health, it's still 100. I can touch the green ball again. There, there it goes, so I, I've touched it twice. 
and the health is still 100 but now take a look if I go and touch the red ball the red ball has the um, damage of 20 and it has the kill attribute right so now I'm gonna touch the red ball boom you, you can feel it right you feel the, the red flash and look at my health up here it went down look at my health in the window it's 88 89 so it went down to 80 and now it's starting to go back up again if I touch it again it's gonna go down by another 20 and give it three seconds touch it again goes down by another 20 now it's 61 if I keep doing this I have to wait for three seconds but if I keep doing this it's gonna kill me so now it's down to 12 and the last time and there it goes the health went to zero and I'm dead that's how we use attributes in Roblox in this tutorial we used two different types of attributes we used the number attribute and we used the boolean attribute join us again in our next tutorial we're gonna learn more about attributes and we're going to focus more on scripting attributes.